have a full forecast for you in the next half hour. But it's time now for a quick look at that topsy-turvy weather we were talking about. Here's Helen Willits. Anna, thanks. Not only very warm by day, but tropical by night last night, which meant it was very uncomfortable for sleeping. That's when temperatures don't fall below 20 degrees. But if you couldn't sleep and you were out and about, look, we had the Aurora Borealis as far south as Hampshire. And as we've been hearing, that heat has culminated in some intense storms. Now, it has just in the last half hour been confirmed it's the hottest day of the year so far, but I think we'll see higher than that. And I'll fill you in, as you say, Anna, in around half an hour. Thank you, Helen. With Helen Willits. Helen, if you did miss it last night, is there a chance of staying up clear skies tonight for a second chance? Yes, there is actually, Anna. Uh, particularly under a ridge of high pressure coming in tonight. And the Aurora Borealis, of course, was visible as far south as I showed you earlier as Hampshire. Now, not as strong tonight, but I'm sure there's still a chance. <laughs> Now, that heat that we've been talking about, already the warmest day of the year so far, but 35 could still be on the cards across parts of the Midlands, East Anglia and the South East. It's not that hot everywhere. Behind our storms, it has freshened up significantly, 20, 21 degrees. And the heat that we have here across Spain, France as well, is diminishing. It's ebbing away, pushing its way eastwards over the coming few days. And why? Well, we've got these fingers of cloud lining themselves up in the Atlantic. So, yes, we change from that southerly wind to more of an Atlantic feel but in that breakdown we've seen some really severe downpours haven't we across Scotland still hanging on but also a plethora of them across parts of northern England the Midlands and heading towards potentially Stanley in the southeast isolated yes but certainly very noticeable so for the rest of the day there will then be some sunshine developing a fresher feel and overnight that continues as the storms move out the way clear away from Shetland as well we are going to see the winds strengthening further west cloud and rain arriving for northern Ireland western fringes of Scotland later but look at the temperatures after last night's tropical night it looks a little more comfortable for sleeping still warm under this ridge of high pressure, though, those clearer skies to start Tuesday. Not in the west, though. That feature, again, is going to be bringing rain, this time for Scotland, for Northern Ireland, clearing away to northern England, across Wales and the southwest, with some unusually windy weather. So, again, it'll be the south and the east where we see the driest, sunniest weather. Still very warm, 27, 28, not quite as humid as it is today. In fact, the humidity notches down as well tonight, as I've mentioned. But by Wednesday, that weather front's sitting across southern and eastern areas, and it's the turn of Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England to have the drier weather. Quite a bit of cloud and a few showers lingering across southern and eastern areas. And by then, the temperatures are starting to come back down closer to average, which is around about 17 to 22. Now, this shows Thursday's rain and winds and that weather front is slow to push its way southwards into the south on Friday before clearing away and hopefully high pressure returning towards the weekend but the heat will have gone but it looks like we'll have another dose of fairly significant rain on Thursday weakening that weather front as it sinks its way southwards but again it'll be quite warm and misty and murky underneath this weather system with just the odd shower following to the north so it's really topsy-turvy our weather as we go through this week mostly Scotland Northern Ireland Northern England and the West seeing the wet, the rain over the next couple of days. But Wednesday, we've got those showers in the south. Friday, we've got that rain in the south. And then hopefully it clears away for most parts bar the odd shower into Saturday. But the temperatures by then, Anna, significantly lower for some good news, I think. <laughs> I think so. Thank you, Helen.